Hey there, I am Maruk Said, a microbiologist and a science educator. Science is my passion and I'm here to share it with you. Biochemical test. Test for carbohydrate fermentation. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's begin with the table of contents. First, we will have a brief introduction about carbohydrate fermentation test. We will learn its objectives, principle, requirements, procedures, result interpretation, and fermentation pattern of some common bacteria, precaution, applications, and lastly limitations. Let's begin with the introduction of carbohydrate fermentation test. The biochemical test known as the carbohydrate fermentation test is used to detect and distinguish various types of bacteria based on their patterns of carbohydrate fermentation. Different bacterial groups have different dietary needs and biochemical characteristics. Because various bacteria may have distinct enzyme systems, their capacity to use substrates varies. When bacteria consume carbohydrates, sugars, a similar trend is observed. Certain bacteria can use one type of sugar while others can't use it at all. Additionally, different bacterial groups may use different modes of metabolism to break down the same sugar. For example, some may use a fermentative mode while others may use an oxidative mode. Some may produce acids as an end product while others may produce alcohol and some may release gas while others may not. The polyhydroxy aldehyde or ketones, often known as carbohydrates or sugars, are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms combined in an empirical combination of CX, H2OY. Carbohydrates come in a wide variety of forms and are characterized in many ways. The substrate used in microbiology and carbohydrate fermentation tests typically includes glucose, lactose, sucrose, maltose, mannitol, galactose, starch, remnose, esculin, sesculin, duxitol, sorbitol, cellubiosis, zyxlose, menalose, trihalose, inositol, raffinose, and cellulose. During the fermentation process, the carbohydrate molecules are anaerobically catabolized into organic acids. Thus, produced acid decreases the pH of the medium and compels the pH indicator to change its color. However, not all bacteria are capable of fermenting the aforementioned sugars. Some of them sugars can be fermented by certain bacterial species but not all of them. It is possible to divide bacteria into several groups and speed up the process of bacterial identification by using their capacity to ferment a particular type of carbohydrate. The phrase carbohydrate fermentation test refers to a procedure used to evaluate a microorganism capacity and pattern for fermenting carbohydrates. If this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe. Let's learn the objectives. It is used to assess the ability of bacteria to ferment a specific carbohydrate. Second, to distinguish between different kinds of bacteria and recognize them depending on how they digest carbohydrates. So let's learn the principle of carbohydrate fermentation test. Different bacteria have varying capacities for fermenting particular sugars. Some can do so while others cannot ferment the same sugar. As a byproduct of fermenting carbohydrates, organic acids are created. The pH of the medium will drop as a result of these generated acids. The pH indicator that is already present in the medium changes color as a result of the pH drop. The sort of pH indicator used in the test will affect how the color changes. If the bacteria produce gases during fermenting carbohydrates, they will become trapped in an inverted Durham tube or fermentation tube, immersed in the fermentation broth as an air bubble. 
the creation of an air bubble in Durham's tube and the change in color that result from the fermentation suggest that the test bacteria were able to use the particular carbohydrate present in the test media. Let's learn the requirement for carbohydrate fermentation test. Our first requirement is culture media. This test can be run using carbohydrate broth. The test organism and its source of other components that are accessible in the lab can alter the medium's makeup. Here, we will use a mixture based on high media's carbohydrate consumption broth base M124 with a specific alteration to the pH indicator and the addition of certain carbs. If you intend to make your own carbohydrate broth base, then the composition is Composition of carbohydrate broth base per 990 ml You will need Proteus Peptone 10 grams HM Peptone B Beef extract 1 gram Sodium chloride 5 grams Phenol red 0.018 grams Alternatively Bromocrisol purple 0.100 grams can be used. Now let's learn the preparation. Dissolve the necessary quantity of media components in 990 ml of distilled water. For the test, add 10 grams of particular carbohydrate and dissolve by shaking. If necessary, to achieve total component dissolution, heat to boiling. Give each test tube 5 to 7 ml of the broth or the amount needed completely cover Durham's tube. Make sure there is no air bubble present inside each tube before submerging a Durham's tube entirely. Place the cap or cotton plug loosely on the tubes and autoclave them for 15 minutes at 101 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds of pressure. Next component, you will need carbohydrates. Commonly used carbohydrates as substrate in the carbohydrate fermentation test include glucose, lactose, sucrose, maltose, mannitol, lactose, starch, remnose, esculin, salicin, deocetol, sorbitol, cellubiosis, xylose, menose, trehalose, encinotol, Refinose and melobiosis. Next is reagents. To identify the production of acid in the media, pH indicators are needed. Various pH indicators can be used including Andrade's indicator. Light pink at about neutral pH range 7.1 to 7.2 turns dark pink to red at acidic pH at around or below 5.0 and turns yellow at high alkaline pH about 12 to 14. Phenol red Reddish orange at neutral about 7.4 pH turns yellow at acidic pH at and below 6.8 pH and turns pink red at alkaline pH at or above 8.4 pH. Bromocrisol purple Deep purple at about neutral about 7.4 pH turns yellow at acidic pH at and below 5.2 pH and turns purple at alkaline pH at and above 6.8 pH. Bromothiamol blue Green at neutral about 7 pH turns yellow at acidic at and below 6 pH and turns Persian blue at alkaline at and above 8.4 pH. Phenol red is most used pH indicator due to its availability, toxicity, simplicity of noticing changes in color and range of pH for color change. Next equipments. Test tubes, inoculating loop, waiting machine, autoclave, an incubator, Bunsen burner, Durham's tube, PPE and other general laboratory materials. And lastly, test organisms, sample bacteria. 
the test organisms may be yeasts since the carbohydrate fermentation test is also used to distinguish between species of yeast such as candida species and saccharomyces species. Now let's begin with the procedure of carbohydrate fermentation test. Pick up a well isolated clony from a fresh culture of the sample bacterium that is 18 to 24 hours old using a sterile inoculating loop and inoculate the broth. Next, the tubes should be incubated for 18 to 24 hours at 35 degrees Celsius. Watch for a change in the broth's color and air bubbles that have become caught in Durham's tube. Re-incubate the tubes for the following 24 hours and check for color change and air bubbles if none are visible. Some may require 5 days or more of incubation. Now let's head to the result interpretation of carbohydrate fermentation test. Positive fermentation is denoted by the color change of the media from reddish orange to yellow. Negative fermentation is denoted by no color change of the medium, remains reddish orange. If another pH indicator is used, read the color change accordingly. Gas production is indicated by the formation of an air bubble in Durham's tube. Here is the table with the observation, result and its interpretation. If we observe media changes to yellow color, the result is acid production. We interpreted that the organism converts a given carbohydrate to organic acid by fermentation which lowers the medium's pH and causes acidic conditions. For other observation, media changes to yellow color and production of gas formation in the Durham's tube. This indicates acid and gas production. When an organism ferments a specific carbohydrate, it releases gas and organic acids. Some bubbles in the inverted Durham tubes indicate the presence of gas. Whereas no change in color retains red color, the result is absence of fermentation. The interpretation is, although the organism cannot use the carbohydrate, it still uses other source of energy in the medium to develop. If this video is helpful for you, don't forget to give a subscribe to my channel. Let's see the fermentation pattern of some common bacteria. Here is the table which will help you to understand the fermentation pattern of some common bacteria. Here the positive sign means positive fermentation whereas negative sign means negative fermentation and V means variable reaction. Now let's head to the precautions that you must take. Ensure that the inverted Durham tube is free of air bubbles. Avoid inoculating over the Durham tube. To ensure that the sample is evenly distributed throughout the broth, swirl the media. Don't declare a negative result after 24 hours because certain infections may require longer incubation times, up to 5 days or more. Applications of Carbohydrate Fermentation Test It is used for the differentiation of gram-negative bacilli, presumptive identification of bacteria, and differentiation of candida species. There are certain limitations of carbohydrate fermentation test. Since it is not a conforming test, further biochemical testing findings are needed for a full identification. There are several types of carbs and indications. There will be a great deal of media produced, each carrying a distant carbohydrate. Oxidative deamination, which results in a shift in the medium's pH to an alkaline state and a false negative result may happen if the reading is too late. It can take more than 24 hours to see a favorable result. If the result is reached too soon, false results may be achieved. Even minor contamination can cause false positive result. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button and follow my other social media handles. Thank you so much for your support.